friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make some 3D solids at home. So what you're going to need is something sticky or something mushy that you can stick your pieces together with. I have some Play-Doh that I'm going to use, but you can also use things like marshmallows or jujubes jube or little candies. That works great as well. And then you can also use things like toothpicks. Q-tips. I don't know if you can see that Q-tip. Q-tips. Or popsicle sticks. So anything that is a straight object and something squishy. Now, I showed you in the last video how you could make a cube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some different shapes that you might not think you could even make. The first shape that I'm going to show you using Play-Doh and toothpicks is a cone. So I'm going to gather my materials. So I think I'm going to need just a few toothpicks. And the first shape that I'm going to make is the base of my cone. And what is the base shape of a cone, friends? A circle. So it's going to be very tricky to make a circle with a straight line. So I'm going to use my Play-Doh, and I'm going to roll it out into a circle. And I want a nice, a nice, a nice sized cone, so I'm going to roll it out pretty thin. And then I'm going to join my two, my two sides and my two pieces of Play-Doh, because the circle doesn't have any sides and I have my circle. Now, this right now is a flat 2D shape, but I want to make a 3D solid. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my toothpicks and I'm going to stick them into my Play-Doh. Now you might want to look at one of the pictures on our anchor chart of what does a cone look like. You might want to look it up on the computer, or maybe you have something in your house that's also the shape of a cone that you can look at to help you. So you need to put toothpicks all along the outside of your circle. And we're nearly done, but it's not a cone yet. We need to make the top of a cone. So you're going to make a little ball of Play-Doh and you need to stick this in the top so that all of your toothpicks are stuck into it. So I'm going to hold it at the top and I'm going to bend all of my toothpicks inside my Play-Doh. And this might take a little bit of time. And there, I've made my cone. Now it's going to be very delicate, but you should be able to pick it up and you can see your cone. So there's one 3D solid that you can make. Another solid that I wanted to show you was a triangular prism. Now a triangular prism, we're not going to need to use um, the Play-Doh to make a big long um, circle because triangular prisms are made of triangles and rectangles. So for this shape, I'm going to show you how to do this using our Q-tips, in case you're using Q-tips at home. And we're going to need about six balls of Play-Doh. So there's one, two, three, and I want them to all be about the same size, four, five, and six. Now when I'm making my rectangle, or my triangular prism, sorry, the base of my pit prism is a rectangle. So that's the shape that I want to start with. So I'm going to use my Q-tips to make a rectangle. And I'm going to use my Play-Doh to hold them together. Now you might not be using Play-Doh, you might be using something else and that's fine. Whatever you can use 
that sticks them together will work just fine. But make sure that you ask permission before you start grabbing stuff from your, from your cupboards. And I have to tell you, friends, this is a lot of fun. I really hope that you enjoy doing this activity because it can be very fun building stuff. Okay. And now we need to make the triangular part of my triangular prism. So in order to do that, I'm going to make a triangle. So I have the first part of my triangle, the base of my triangle, and I'm going to use two other Q-tips to make the sides of my triangle. And just like the cone, I'm going to take another piece of Play-Doh to connect the top. And I have my anchor chart right in front of me so I can see that I'm not done yet. I have other sides of my prism. See that? I have to make another triangle on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing. Two in the sides. One in the top. And our very last one is one Q-tip joining these two. And that's going to make it so that our solid is solid and not flimsy. So one more for the middle. And there's my triangular prism. So I've just shown you two different 3D solids that you can make at home using a straight object and something sticky or something mushy like Play-Doh or Jube Jubes or marshmallows. And I want to challenge you to see how many you can make. How can you make a cube out of these? Can you make a cylinder? Can you make a square-based pyramid? I can't wait to see, friends, and make sure that you're taking a picture, if you can, and uploading it to your Brightspace portfolio so that your teacher can see. Happy learning, friends.